What's up, guys? Sick Crazy here. Today I'm bringing you guys yeah, Squidward Stories episode me. five or six, whatever one's next after the pre-K purple day story. Um, and today I'm going to be talking about a sleepover I had, just one of the memorable ones. And I know I did a Squidward Stories about a sleepover already, but I didn't do it about this specific one. So this is the one that actually made me buy my Xbox. If, um, so uh, if you guys don't know, my best friends in real life. Uh, right now are Phil, Gino, Nate, and um, Pat, and so back then though it was Phil, or not Phil, uh, it was Gino, Nate, and Nick, and I think there was one more person there, but I forget who. Um, but anyway, like I said, this is the reason I bought my Xbox. So, and this is it, um, now, if you guys don't know, I started out in MW3, well, I, I played Call of Duty since Call of Duty 4, but, um, MW3 was, um, my, like, the game that really got me into Call of Duty. I started to play it on the Wii, I got it for Christmas, and I really got into it. So I started playing it, and that's a little bit of the backstory. Well, in April, which is my birthday, you guys know that, April 23rd, I talk, I talk about the every time the month of April comes up. I was having a birthday party, and I was already thinking about buying a 360 so I could play MW3 with my friends, but um, I wasn't like, I didn't have my mind set on it. So, Nick, one of my best friends at the time, like I said, walks up the street to his house, because he literally lived like 10 houses away from me. Brings his Xbox down, and uh, we played Xbox. So he had me playing MW3, and I just instantly like fell in love and like loved the console. And was having a blast. Um, we were doing a quick scope. It was we did a quick scope tournament. It was me versus Gino and Nate versus Nick. And I think I lost it. I know I lost to Gino, and I think Nate won against Nick. I'm not sure though. Um, and that's really a kind of what got me into sniping it. So when I got on the, uh, when I got, when that party was over, I, Bro, like, I uh, time, like, uh, I went on the Wii and tried to quick skill, but it's not impossible, it's not possible to do on the Wii, so, I, um, I was like, alright, I want to buy the Xbox 360, so I, like, saved up and bought it with my birthday money. But, anyway, back to the story. So, uh, Nate lost to Gino in the finals and we were just having a blast and we were just playing stuff all night finally I, uh, I was like you know what I'm gonna get it and I told them that that night and they were like awesome and they were really excited so uh, everybody's like all hyped that I'm gonna get an Xbox 360 soon so uh, I order it and it comes in like a, a week later and yeah so um that's the story about how I got the Xbox 60. Now I'm going to talk about the first grade firefighting story. Um, so, first grade firefighting. Um, in oh, first grade, you, you, I left the sink on. And not only the did bathroom, he drop shot me, left it on he drop shot me and hit behind a sensory and, um, gun. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what that noise was. It's just oh shadows raging in the gameplay. Um, and uh, anyway, so there was, we thought we left hot water running, which we did. Um, and we thought that that hot water caught fire. So we, this we being me, Nate, and Gino, and uh, this kid Frankie, I don't know that much because I wasn't really friends with him. Um, we all sprinted down the hallway. What you used to have to do is you just have to turn the hall pass inside out. So it would be like the back of the hall pass was facing the wall. And so I, uh, Nate ran out first and he, Turned the hall pass around. Then Nate, or Gino, me, and Frankie all just slapped it, and um, we got in trouble for this. So no, we sprinted no down way. the hallway, no, 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 and uh, no, 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 no. we saw that there was just steam. And of course, we're first graders, so we think it's smoke. So we lift the thing up, uh, lift the, the faucet up, and um, we, like open the window in the bathroom. So we, and then. Of course, that turned into the whole sink was on fire, and like we were telling the girls that the whole sink was on fire, and that we we scooped up water from the other sink with our hands, and put it on the fire, and it took us like 20 minutes, and Frankie got burned, and I think I got burned, and I think Gino was supposedly burned his eyebrows off, but they were back the next day somehow. Um, I forget, there was a bunch of lies too, but um, 
And so we told the, all the girls that, of course, that we were the heroes. So they believed us. They thought we were cool. Uh, it was really funny that they believed us. Um, but yeah, we sprinted down the hallway at full speed. Like, and I used to be like really skinny and fast when I was little. So I, I mean, yeah. Uh, I was actually no way, pretty this fast. Hotel got me so we told them that the no it was way, a huge dude. thing. You know what? It really I can't. Um, and then another thing that happened. I can't. Uh, one this second. So another thing that happened was bathroom basketball. Was and um, bathroom basketball, we kind of just grabbed a pencil. This, now this was Nate and Gina. They used to do this all the time. So Nate would used to ask to go to the bathroom, and five minutes later, Gina would ask. And they would always let it, uh, uh, my teacher, this is like fourth and fifth grade, my teacher would always let them go to the bathroom. So one day, she sent us down, uh, she sent me down to make sure that they weren't like goofing off. Well, that was a big mistake because me, Nate, and Gino have always been best friends, except for first grade when I didn't like Gino, but I was still best friends with Nate. Um, so anyway, uh, she sent me down to the bathroom, and I see they're having fun. They're throwing pencils over the stall door and trying to land it in the toilet. And if they landed in the toilet, you just left it there. Cause I'm just telling you guys that now. That was disgusting. That, that, that was a school toilet. They didn't clean the school toilet. So, we started to have fun, and we started throwing them. And um, the teacher, I think the teacher eventually came down like 15 minutes later. Uh, and I just like leaned over the toilet and pretended I was throwing up and then she's like, oh, okay And then she yelled at Nate and Gino Pulled them out. They got in trouble. I was throwing up in the bathroom. I ended up getting sent home um, But we had a lot of fun because we were just playing basketball in the bathroom for like 15 minutes and uh, We used to have like assigned toilets and stuff in the bathroom like not not by the teachers But like all the kids would have a specific toilet. Oh that voice crack. Jesus. Um, so I was always, I was throwing it in my toilet, and, uh, this kid Chris found out I was throwing it in my, in my toilet, or no, I was throwing it in his, and he got really mad at me, and ever since him and I have been each other, this is literally the behind me in other. my own spawn. Um, now there's been more stuff that has contributed to that, but that's a whole that. other topic for a whole other um, that I'll go into detail, but that's one of the reasons that, uh, that's the thing that started him and I hating each other, but those are a couple stories from my squeaker days, um, thank you guys so much for watching, comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and ask us below, as always guys, it's been sick crazy, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video, thanks for watching, have a great day.